Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think we have to wear them. Look at this. I think, I think Mansi's getting us to, I think we're doing it. Uh, it kind of fits. Love it. <laughs> right. For National Pie Mash Week. Alright guys, welcome back to the video and you asked for it. You asked for an all-you-can-eat pie challenge and I'm delivering. But I'm not only delivering by myself, I'm delivering with Franco Feast. I am so excited. So, we are back here at Mansi's in Tower Bridge Road. This has a special place in my heart because I used to come here as a kid and I have some amazing memories here and so it's amazing to come back. For National Pie Mash Week, Mansi's has challenged us to come down and eat as many pies as we can. Now, we have 22 on each of these. So, 44 pies, there's a lot of pies, but I'm really happy because I've got Franco along to take these on with me. Franco's a bit of a pro with pie eating. You've been taking on quite a lot of pie and mash challenges, haven't you, recently? Yeah, this is my second time at Manzi's Pie and Mash Shop. Really looking forward to taking on 22 pies each, so 44 pies in total. Max, what do you think? I think we'll do all right. I absolutely love these pies. They're really traditional. They're my favorite type of pies, just meat and mince and just absolutely delicious. We've got a little bit of liquor as well. Not, ex not needed on it, but yeah, Manzi's definitely have got us ready with these bibs, so I think we're just ready to get messy. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. I think this is gonna be all right, you know. I don't know. I might be asking for more pies, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so guys, these are in their individual little pies. They kept a little bit warm. We're not too sure how hot these are gonna be. These are definitely gonna get a little bit messy. I love these pies at Manzi's, so very looking forward to them. Need to pick my timer. Hey, you want to give us a countdown? Yeah, go on. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. <laughs> seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video and you asked for it, an all-you-can-eat pie challenge. So here it is. Mm-mm-mm. Come on, Max, go on, Franco! And yes, for those of you that have seen, I have messed up the timer. But don't worry, guys. Everything will be redeemed very soon. Definitely getting a little bit messy, but these pies look so good. They're coming to watch, Franco! I love <laughs> We'll get a little bit of a crowd. Before we get too far into this, I've got to know, how many pies do you think we're going to be able to eat, and in how long? Drop a comment down below. It is so good. Mm. The mash definitely. Come on, Franco! Come on, Thank you. <laughs> I have got to say a huge, huge, huge shout out to all the staff at Manzi's who cheered us on. They were fantastic. It's good they've got the trays here so you can count two, four, six, so number seven. And we were just over two minutes in at this point, so averaging a pie in under 30 seconds. But could I keep up that pace? I'm really trying not to make a mess, but I realized the mash is almost like essential because that's how it like mops up all the gravy from the pies. So we haven't thought about this a little bit. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we have had the mash with the pies? I've done a lot of pie mash challenges, so I thought just a pie challenge would be amazing. Oh no, my timer went off. No. Can we replace it with yours? Mm. I'll put yours. I don't think I turned it on properly. All right, sorry guys. Franco being the amazing person he is, is lending me his, so you can see that there. Apologies, but now you can see the timer back. Yay, crisis averted. And at three minutes and 40 seconds in, I was eight pies down. I definitely need the bib. Need more than a bib. <laughs> need a shower after this. I might try another tactic. What do you guys think of the bibs? I think this is one of the best gifts I've ever got in a food challenge before. Mm, 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 mm. Number 10. In just under four and a half minutes, I was definitely keeping under that 30 second per pie pace, but I definitely knew I wasn't going to be able to keep that up. 
I know it sounds a bit weird, but like sucking the things out at the start actually really helps. It might sound like a strange way to eat these pies, but instead of letting the gravy go everywhere, it was kind of helpful to kind of drink the gravy before tackling the pie. I think this is halfway. Oh, it doesn't feel like halfway. <laughs> it was like quite a lot. It's starting to use the liquor. Mm. Yeah, I think I might need to use some liquor. Six minutes, 16 in. I've said this in previous pie mash videos, but liquor is parsley sauce. It used to be made from the water they used to cook the eels in, but not anymore. Have a little bit of the liquor. That's good. Thank you very much. All right. Staff here, absolutely amazing. The best staff around. Get me some fresh liquor, really nice and warm. That's going to be delicious. Thank you, Junie. <laughs> As I said, a huge shout out goes to the Manzi staff, but in particular, Junie, who was really sweet and couldn't do enough to help us with this challenge. <laughs> so that thumbs up was actually to two students who for some reason decided to pick me as a university project. If you want to see the video that they produced, let me know and I can post it on my channel. It definitely has a couple of insights from me and from Laura, but at just over nine minutes in, that was 16 pies down. <sighs> and as you can see and hear, I was definitely starting to feel it. But Franco was keeping great pace. He had taken down 13 pies. For my calculation, I've got 18 down. No. No, I haven't. I've got 17 down. All right. <laughs> Scratch that. <sighs> Number 18 was how many I did in my old school pie and mash challenge, one of the first ever really big challenges I did. But I did it with a lot of mash as well. So, yeah, even getting past 18 mentally is going to be a bit tough for me, but let's see. Nothing like... A little bit of liquor though to help. Eighteen down. And we're oh wow. We're only at eleven minutes and thirty-five seconds. So doing pretty well. How are you feeling? How many of you haven't really got much to go as well? Two, six, eight. Quick math. Fourteen down. No, more, fourteen. <laughs> I can't count. These no. are probably not the best. No, fourteen down. Fourteen so down, nice. Alright, well, all right. I think I might have to have some chili liquor, uh, chili liquor, chili vinegar soon, but we'll see. I'll try and power on. I also realised I haven't given a reminder for what these pies are. So they're meat pies, minced beef, or ground beef if you're American, and they are delicious. How are you Not too bad. I mean, it's definitely getting to all the pies. It's quite, mm. like, definitely, um, yeah, after a while. Like, the flavour is still really, really good, but you just feel heavy after like double double you feel like quite mm. heavy so after like <laughs> multiples of them starting to just feel a bit yeah heavy but i see the time's pretty good we're doing a good time what do you guys think at 13 minutes in we only had 10 pies out of the 44 we started with i thought that was pretty good i threw up a little bit number 20. Whew. How are your time predictions coming along? Oh, this one, I'm definitely going to put in some vinegar. I don't quite know how to do this, maybe. Oh, maybe a bit too much. Might regret that, that might be too much vinegar. <laughs> maybe you can't have enough vinegar. <laughs> That's a really good flavour mix-up, actually. That's good. Max, there's a smaller side of the vinegar. Hmm? So it doesn't come out so fast. <laughs> Thank you, June. That was good. No, not thinking at all. What about you guys? Have you tried vinegar on your meat pies before? And if you have, did you like it? That's 20 pies in just over 15 minutes. Second to last pie. Mm. And see here, these are absolutely delicious. Really good. Oh. Still good 21 pies in, so I was saying something. 
put in a little bit of vinegar. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> think I, you think I haven't been here before? I'm like showing I'm like a novice. Look. Do you think you could do a couple more, Max? Mmm. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what Franco what Franco thinks. This is a team challenge, so I, I want to help out my buddy. And Franco was a fantastic buddy on this challenge. If you're not following Franco, links will be down below. He is a great eater, really lovely guy as well. Please give him a follow and let him know I sent you. I'm gonna take down this, this one and then I think I'm gonna see if I can do any more. Oh, okay, what are we on? Okay, 17 minutes in, not too bad. Oh, this is actually quite a struggle. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than, not like easy, but yeah, definitely, definitely a lot harder. Oh. Yes, I think we worked it out. A 20 is about so just over three kilos, so about just over seven pounds. So 22 must be close to seven and a half pounds. Yeah, that's if they're weight. I feel like they're heavy. They're supposed to be yeah. 150 grams, but this feels heavier than 150 grams. But ah. yeah, it was definitely a decently sized challenge. The vinegar is definitely helping out here. I really found the sharpness of vinegar so helpful in cutting down on flavour fatigue, but I'm interested to know what you would have had on your pies to complement them. Twenty-two pies down in just under twenty minutes, about nineteen fifty, so that's good. How you doing? I think you got this. Feeling good, good. I think you got this. I don't think you need my help. Would you want to help yourself some more? Oh, I don't know though. I'll take a minute, I'll take a minute, I'll think about it. Is 22 a good, oh, is 22 a good number or should it be Should it be more? Decisions, decisions. It's more? Always, it's always good for more. Yeah, I think I might try three more because that'll be 25, that's quite a big thing. All right, in a strange turn of events, I'm gonna go for more pie, so I'm gonna try and eat three more. Assistance again, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Whoa, that feels like they're multiplying. <laughs> All right, three more, I'm gonna carry on. Just over 21 minutes. This might be a mistake, but we'll see. 23, I can't count though, it definitely affects me. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely starting to feel a little food drunk at this point. But guys, do you think I'll be able to do it? Will I be able to get to that magic 25 pie number? If only you could see the look on everyone's face right now. <laughs> Hopefully they'll never see a spectacle like this again. <laughs> I don't know, Franco. I really enjoyed this challenge. I think I might be back to take it on sometime in the future. Nora still um, sometimes says like, I, I don't understand now, I don't understand how you do it still, and she's been watching it for like four years. <laughs> that was Will, Franco's photographer. Huge shout out to Will as well, great guy. He said it still kind of amazes him to see us eat like this. <laughs> and I think the two students watching us were also a little bit in shock. Instant regret. You got it? No, <clears throat> it's just a struggle. Definitely seeing it. <sighs> Four. I should think about getting home. Huh. Taxis are worse though, Ubers. I've taken an Uber once, it was not fun. I think we need to roll ourselves. Yeah. All the way back to Brixton. <laughs> I've definitely got some funny stories of me trying to get back from huge food challenges. Maybe I'll talk about them sometime. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can just chew fast. <laughs> They're making me chew faster. I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't know how good that would be. Ah, okay. 
definitely my last buy here. I am struggling now. It's really hit me, so very happy it's the last one. At 25 pies, almost four kilos, over eight and a half pounds, I was definitely starting to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> all, of, all of them, all of them. I calculated it beforehand, yeah. I'm going on that one. <laughs> Honestly, if you can look as good as that and eat that many calories, I'm going wrong somewhere. Mm. I will say it's a lot less about the food we eat in these challenges and much more about how active we are outside of the challenges and the low calorie food we eat when not doing food challenges. Ugh, and I'm done. Ooh, that was wow. That was a struggle. That was yeah. I'm I'm really happy I pushed myself to do three more, but yeah, definitely feeling it in the last one, but very happy to go. Franco, you're literally in, like, right behind me. You've got two more. Do you want some vinegar? It does help. Well, yeah. yeah? Because I didn't eat really anything yesterday, and I don't eat anything today, and then I'll only eat tomorrow when I'm hungry. today? No. Nothing. Huh? No, I mean, yeah, so <laughs> apart from this, apart from this. So you don't want the apple pie custard? There's always room for dessert. There's always room for dessert. What do you guys think? What challenge should I have had after all these pies? Should I have one of these? <laughs> nah, you go for it. You go for it. You can do it. Oh, he's calling me back in. You're really gonna have to roll me home. I don't know how I'm getting. I don't know how I'm. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Oh, oh. You got a spring in your step now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was really feeling it at this point. Not even Coke Zero was helping. So I had some great guesses on Instagram and on Facebook and on YouTube, but I think Linda Winham and Matthew Forbush were the closest in their time prediction. Thanks guys. I really love your time predictions, so please keep posting them. Oh, you got this. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please head over to Franco's channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned to the end of this video. It's a British eating meat contest, and it's a two kilogram kebab. That's right, two kilograms. No, I have made a mess there. It was the last one, it was the one that you gave me. I was all clean until the last one. <laughs> Behind me, yeah? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> Not me roping you into this at all. <laughs> Come on down, Franco, it'll be fun, Franco. You enjoy it, Franco. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, nice. Done. We'll do the stopwatch. Uh, yeah. yeah! Stop it a bit slow. 36 minutes, Franco. That was impressive. Wow. That was that was, that was epic, epic, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it 47 pies between us? Yeah, 47 pies between us. Yeah. That is a lot. Yeah. I think nothing anyone else will ever see. Yeah. Yet. I think that's pretty much going to stand for a long time. I don't know who else is going to be able to do that. That's. Phenomenal that applies. <laughs> uh, yeah. If anyone ever wants to come down to Manzies and attempt that, good luck. Yeah, we yeah, enjoyed yeah. it. <laughs> it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. Yeah. Alright guys, you saw it here. That was absolutely epic. So wow, 47 pies we did together. That was yeah, I didn't think we were gonna get anywhere close to that. I started to feel a bit okay after the 22, so I thought I'd go for more. 
Franco got 21. I just tried to help him out with the last one. That was, that was, yeah, I'm so happy that you were here with me because I don't think I would ever be able to hit that with anyone else. So epic, epic challenge. Thank you so much to Manzi's here. So, so, so good here. Honestly, my favorite pie mash shop. Even just having the pies without the mash, it was fantastic. So yeah, really happy to come down and it was really good to celebrate National Pie Mash Week. I think it's the first ever Pie and Mash Week. So yeah, definitely celebrated in style. Exactly. So there you have it. Four seven pies between us. Fantastic team at Manzi's that let us do this. Well, what else could you ask for in life? Pies, liquor, London, the best. Yeah, you said it. And bibs. And bibs, how can we get out <laughs> these amazing bibs? This is what spurred us on to the end. Alright, thanks guys. Hungry, Dominic, humbly. Cool. Cool. Do you have an outro? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think there. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 cool, yeah, 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 do it. Thank you, well done you two. Thank you. You averaged a pie a minute, you know that. Really? That's insane. Oh, wow. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for Should helping us all. Huh? Oh, no, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like it's up to here. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video and you're right. Yeah, <laughs> that goes well beyond what I thought. I thought <coughs> oh, you're right. Oh no. <laughs> sorry about that. So tonight's competition is two kilo of Donna kebab um, with chips. So one kilo of chips, one kilo of Donna meat, and three, two, one, let's eat! Oh, Go on lads! Oh I got it wrong. Any of you you can cheat them on if you want. Check them all out. Come on, let's get it in. You've got the non-pros over this side, you've got the professionals over this side. 